Hear what I say There's a simpler Kind of way Tell me brother Hear what I say There's a simpler Okay, so we're trying to replace our prop work. We have a right hand prop and for our gearbox to be working properly and not working on a reverse band, which is for reverse and reverse only, that's our forward. So we've spoken to the mechanic and he's suggested we just switch out the prop. Simple little job, but we don't want to bring it out of the water and slip it because it costs just to change the prop. So we're going to try it underwater. So we're up to our fourth attempt. So the first one, we managed to get the nut off and the washer and the split pin. Uh, the first, very first attempt was with this one, which is a 100 mil puller. So it was just a little bit short. So the second attempt was with a puller, which was uh, 150 mil long, but it couldn't quite grip onto the prop because it's quite worn and looks like it's been pulled off before. So we don't know if it's going to work, but this time we're going to go down. I've just made up a little chain system, so hopefully I can go around behind the propeller. Uh, I'm not too worried about damage on the propeller because it's no good to us this one anyway. A little bit of adjustment there. I'm hoping I can get that around and actually work it like a normal puller. So... Problem is getting 
getting the prop off. The second one is getting a new prop. So we don't really want to buy a new one, but the reason being that we've got to switch this out, it's not that it's damaged. You actually get a prop and you put it in your hand like that, your thumb will lay over that way, which indicates to me that's a right hand prop. So obviously the left hand won't lay over it. So we actually need a left hand prop. This being a right hand is no good. It's been running like that since we've bought the boat and we've replaced the gearbox once. And it's taken us two years to figure out that we purchased the boat with the wrong direction. Um, the orientation of the motor can be changed, which is inside the uh, gearbox, which is just the, the pump. So it actually pumps the um, hydraulic fluid around, but it has to be reverse is reverse and forwards forward with our design of gearbox. So this has to be a left hand um, propeller. We've been running in reverse on a reverse band, so not using the gearbox properly, and being that the orientation's around the wrong way, the oil pump in the um, gearbox doesn't pump while it's in reverse. So we've been cooking our oil every time and then losing reversed, and it's taken us a long time to figure out, because we don't generally use the motor a lot, mostly just for docking, but yeah. It's not the now, best when you come into uh, the marina, marina and we <laughs> and we don't have reverse. It's stressful enough, yeah. let alone without reverse. So, so there we are. It's all solvable. Uh, underwater, on scuba, in your marina, um, or anywhere. It did take a few attempts, but it can be done. Five and attempts. It was actually quite easy once we actually got the puller to work properly. If we had a little bit more room between here and the boat. We could have actually got the prop puller on, but we could only sort of just get it on a little bit and it just kept sliding off on us. So, um, yeah, how to remove a prop underwater, there you have it. Good job, baby. All goes well. We uh, will be underway in no time at all. So eight weeks later, with no luck, with trying to find a second hand propeller, our only alternative was to buy a brand new one. No good for the cruising kitty, but at least we've got the right prop with the right pitch and we're ready to go. Okay, so we've got our prop. It did look nice and shiny. But I just put a coat of anti-fowl on it. It's still a bit soft. I'll lower that down and get that underwater. Give our shaft a clean and hopefully we'll get some paint that goes on.
so we've had to cut a slot in our keyway. So I filed away this this morning so it will fit now in our new propeller, which originally was this size, so it was too big. Even though it was measured, it was obviously not measured correctly. But with slight alteration, we're back on track. So I'm about to go down now and install the new propeller. There we go. Basic tools in here. Fingers crossed. Round three. So the final attempt as we submerge ourselves underneath, hoping to be the last time. Um, we get close, but not close enough. We were a couple of mil out, which isn't a lot in the scheme of things, but enough for us not to be able to line up the split pin. So we removed the propeller for the final last time and a little bit of emery cloth and with the motor running we were able to take the slightest bit off and polish the shaft a little bit and there we were we found ourselves with a prop that was now fitting our boat us a lot. Thanks for watching. See you See next, ya, time. next time. Tell me brother, here